could no, share no. that. Even I realize that. You're right. Mr. Singh? Mr. A.D. Singh? How much time do I have, ma'am? Thank you, Chairpersons, uh, for giving me the opportunity to uh, speak. But I am a little surprised by the uh, election results which happened recently. Karnataka election was on 10th and the uh, result was 13th, that is just after three days. Telangana on 30th November and result on 3rd December. Both the places, the uh, uh, ruling party lost. And wherever, uh, wherever there was a gap of a month, one month, half month, then the results were different. So I'm quite confused and perplexed by this. And so far as the independence of the election commission is concerned with vis-a-vis -vis the executive, I know how recent, in recent times, no, there are two things. At least, at least I'm happy that a particular member complimented Congress for the 1977 free, free and fair elections. But we have seen recently that one of the election commissioners, the way he was hounded, and he had no option but to resign and go to Manila or somewhere. The Constituent Assembly members were concerned over the need to ensure the independence of the Commission. B. R. Ambedkar said in order that election may be free in the real sense of the word, they, they shall be taken out of the hands of the government of the day and conducted by the independent body called the Election Commission. The need of an independent body to hold elections was emphasized in court since number of cases in TN session versus UA, UOI and other is observed that there can be no two options that free and fair elections to our legislative body should, alone would guarantee the growth of a healthy democracy in the country. The bill, proposed bill jeopardizes this fundamental principle. And the proposal of this bill in today's political context when, where issues are being raised and allegations revealed about the EC like never before will be another nail in the coffin of the election, election authority, EC authority. And in, when, if the government is just uh, going, reversing the decision of the Supreme Court in this matter after the judgment, that five judgment, I don't want to go and repeat what other members have said. I think it is uh, a very sad, it will be a very sad day in the history of the democracy of India. And so far as other colleagues are saying that talking of the emergency, today we have a un declared an emergency, which is worse than the uh, one which was uh, done by Madam Gandhi. And the way the selection committee is supposed to uh, select the election commission, then there's no point we should have a three-member committee, let the uh, uh, Honorable Prime Minister select a person. And so far as my colleague from the Biju Janta Dals talked about the uh, CAG and other organization, I can personally tell him what, how it works. So fortunately, I don't want to put things in the house because it will be not very good. So I vehemently oppose this bill and it, uh, when our forefathers have given a constitution which really balanced the, uh, the, between the judiciary, legislature and executive, and the way we are going, most of the institutions are being, being uh, taken out of their powers and whatever the ruling government says, they behave like this. So I vehemently oppose this bill. It's uh, wonderful to see you on the chair.
It's and a I temporary can, uh, arrangement. Yes, but when I saw it on the television in my room, it's coming across very, very elegant, very distinguished. Thank you. And very privileged to see you, Thank uh, you. holding the chair today. Thank you. Uh, I just want to share with my good friend and esteemed colleague, uh, Mr. Singh, that he made a sweeping comment that there's an emergency and it's worse than the emergency of that time. Coming from a person from Bihar, coming from the land of Loknaik Jayaprakash Narayan, coming from the land which fought to maintain the unity and integrity of India, which is the repository of knowledge in this country, which stood up for high principles and values and fought against the emergency so much so that thousands of political workers, for no fault of theirs, except that they opposed the then government, with no allegations of corruption, no allegations of, of misdemeanor or any other sort, were put behind bars indiscriminately across the country, probably thousands from Bihar also. Many who today are in the JDU, are in the RJD and all the various offshoots, as there are so many, it's difficult to remember their names also. But all of those were a part of the struggle against the emergency, which was totally unconstitutional, unwarranted, and an attack on democracy in the country. To make such a comment, to make such a comment where today we are all with great freedom able to speak in this house, where today there's freedom of democracy, freedom of speech, the media is vibrant, the judiciary is uh, protecting the interests of the people of India. There's complete freedom across the country. And the only people behind bars are criminals, are people in whose houses you find 353 crores and counting cash, illegals, stashed away money, where the only people behind bars are murderers and criminals and land mafia and sand mafia and liquor mafia and arms dealers and defense dealers. A respected in leader this day and age of the house. To compare Excuse me, those days of, of emergency with today is a plot is a blot on the very thinking of your party and the esteemed member of parliament. Thank you, uh, thank you, leader of the house. But if you are talking about freedom, I think he used his freedom. Let's, let's. I, 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 what I wish to convey, that we have seen enough of freedom yesterday. That was on display by the gesticulation, by the body language. What reference he made was metaphorically. Our metaphorical statement, if it is not made, what kind of democracy? I mean, you make new buildings, but there is no idea of democratic discourse. Democracy is never, ma'am. If JP was alive today, if JP was alive today, counterfactually speaking, he would have stitched an alliance of all progressive forces against their kind of politics. Thank you, ma'am. Long list of freedom uh, uh, struggle leaders. There's a, not a single leader from Pandit Nehru to Pat Sadar Patel to Gandhi who did, did not stay in my house in Patna and Muzaffarpur. So let, let, let them do not teach me what democracy is. And let me tell you, one of the Russian oli big oligarchs had come to meet me a month back. While having dinner in my house, he said, Mr. Singh, you are more unsafe than me in Russia. So, so let us let not anybody teach me what democracy is. And, and I have already been to jail for, for being, not being a criminal. I should have, become, I should have also taken 10,000 crores from the bank and stayed in London. But I decided I will fight here. Whether you put me in jail again, I'm not bothered. Mr. Britas. 